<laughs> hey guys, it's Asusana. So in this video, I'm gonna share my experience working at Fright Fest, which is pretty much Horror Nights but Six Flags version. So I did end up auditioning last year in August. I got cast as a ghoul and I ended up being in the maze called Aftermath. It was really really cool. It was my first time ever doing anything like this where I got hired as a scare actor. So to audition, there were multiple parts. At the time, I had no idea what they were. Like I didn't know what a walk around was. The reason I wanted to be a ghoul is because I really love anime. I really like the anime Tokyo Ghoul, so that's why I decided to audition as a ghoul and I got cast as a ghoul, so yay! <laughs> that was really fun. Um Let's see, so my audition was in August, very early August, and we started work and orientation and all of that in September, and it ended on November 3rd. It was honestly one of the coolest experiences ever, just because you get to scare people. You meet a lot of cool people, and I ended up getting a best friend because of this. I'm gonna share with you guys a few clips and stuff like that. I don't really know what else to say. I'm probably just gonna explain everything in the video as I go. So yeah. And then I'm gonna throw in a few random stuff. So yeah, bye. Okay guys, so this is one of my favorite looks that the makeup artist did on me. Just because I feel like it looks the most spooky and I think it complements my contacts as well. And to add to my spooky look, I would add eyeshadow, usually pink on the lid and a little bit of yellow underneath. Here is a close-up of what my makeup looks like. It's kind of hard to see the yellow. And this is how I would usually typically wear my hair. You can kind of see the yellow just a little bit more. <laughs> And here you can see the difference between my makeup and my friend's makeup. And this is one of the days where they just ended up adding more blood. So this is a different look that they added to one of my friends. And here is a close-up of his contacts. <laughs> I love this picture. Um, sometimes they would give people different type of masks. And on this day, you can see that they didn't really add much blood, and my friend's makeup is a little bit different. So to the right of this building, we would get our hair and makeup done, and to the left, we would get our costumes done. This guy has the coolest makeup, and later you will see what it looks like under like neon lights. It's so cool. So they would give us these cloaks to wear anytime we were on break, had our lunch, and anytime we wanted to walk around the theme park and just go into other mazes and I always felt so cool wearing them, they just look really cool and creepy. So this is the main area where they had placed me. I would move from left to right, I would crawl on the floor and just sometimes kind of chase people without really chasing them because we weren't supposed to chase them. And this giant flame would shoot out which you guys will see later on and it's so freaking cool, I love it. Okay guys, I am giving you guys a spoiler warning just in case some of you want to visit the theme park down in Santa Clarita and you don't want to know what any of the mazes look like. But I will say that each time you go into the maze, it is a different experience because they're constantly swapping out actors. So I highly recommend that if you're first time going and it kind of sucks, you should go back into that same maze because they're constantly swapping out actors. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Gonna walk through our own maze! Aftermath! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Where's the fast lane? Fast lane right here. Okay, thank you! Okay, good. There's like no one here. 
know I would constantly Naruto run throughout the entire theme park because I'm a full-fledged nerd. <laughs> you see how we have to suffer? We have to go all the way up this hill. We can do it though. We, we got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I uh, hear people. <laughs> The green guy. Yeah. You looking at me? <laughs> you looking at me? <laughs> Tonight's a great night to die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> Is there a shortcut back? No, we have to go back. Ah, oh, shoot. Here, I'll, I'll record us, like. Oh. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, at least you won't eat my legs now. I know. That's better. <laughs> I hear her talking about the legs. Like sleep oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you afraid?
You've come too far. Post for a thumbnail with me. Wait. I'm gonna walk into our break room with this. I assume that we can. This way, right? gonna be in my YouTube video no. so <laughs> Okay, there were a few things that I forgot to explain. When you're working as a scare actor, you have to remember that there's gonna be like all sorts of people that walk through the mazes. Literally, you will get people who don't even wanna be scared. They literally don't wanna be scared, but yet they still go in the maze. I had people who yelled at me and got like really mad at me just because I ended up scaring them. Um, yeah, but you do, even though you do get like some snobby people, you do get a lot of nice people and I would say overall, the children were the most fun to scare because sometimes the parents would come in with their little baby carriages and like push their kids like towards me. I remember this one time this mom walked in with her baby carriage and she stopped in front of me and she literally uncovered her baby because there was like a blanket over the baby and she just like rolled her carriage in front of me just so that I could scare her children. Um. I was a little bit nicer to kids, but I mean, I still went after the kids. Anybody who went in the maze, I went after because I thought it was funny. Because it was my first time, I would say I did all right for the first night. Yeah, I kind of got bored with some of the scare tactics that I was using, so I kind of decided that I wanted to start crawling on the floor. Whether you are a walk around or you're in a maze, you have people who are regulating the maze and you know, making sure that no customer is like hitting you or trying to touch you or anything like that. Um, so people who were in my maze saw what I was doing and they liked me. So, um, so if you ever go into the aftermath maze, there is a giant flame that shoots out. So I, they ended up moving me instead of the beginning part, they moved me in that area. So I was literally just crawling around and I freaking loved it so much because I scared so many people. I remember there was this group of boys that like came in the maze and they ended up like falling on the floor, running into walls. It sounds bad, but honestly it was kind of funny seeing a group of boys like get scared and stuff. But because it was a like safety hazard, um, you do get other people from the park that run the park that will go in the maze to make sure that you know nobody's violating anything and stuff like that um we did get off to a pretty rocky start there was a lot of confusion with breaks so sometimes they had too many people on breaks and too many people like at lunch so there was like no one in the maze to scare people but, you know, we kind of took care of that and as things moved along, everybody kind of got the hang of it and stuff like that. The best thing that I loved about my maze is that everybody who I worked with, we kind of all just like joined this group and we would help each other and stuff like that. There's times where like, I really didn't have anybody in my section, so somebody else would move into my section. Or if I had to use the restroom and stuff like that, you know, I would let somebody know and stuff like that. Um... A few of the downsides about working in the aftermath maze is you're all the way at the end of the theme park. At the time, we only had porta potties. So outside of the aftermath maze, there's a line to get in and then there's a snack bar. And to the left of the snack bar, there's like a whole other section that is supposed to have like restrooms and stuff like that. And they didn't open up to like the last 
week or two so yeah we had to use porta potties um overall it was just really cold so you kind of just had to layer up stuff like that okay so my brain just decided to tell me that i probably should have written all of this on my phone <laughs> because i don't want to be all over the place okay so another thing if you guys do get hired by six flags don't be afraid to report anybody like any type of customer or person going into your maze and harassing you there were several incidents where people like scare actors were getting like punched in the face or they'll get like shoved or pushed pretty much incidents where scare actors would get harmed or foul language was used toward them I don't know sometimes people just <laughs> I don't know they go to these places and they know that they're gonna get scared and when they do get scared they kind of get upset that you actually scared them so they might do something to you I, I would get a few people that would say stuff to me just because I scared them but nothing too crazy so when you first arrive to the theme park as a scare actor you do report to like the back parking lot so it's pretty much employee parking lot and then everybody has like a little card like a temporary card that has like your ID number and stuff like that and then you go through security once you get past that you clock in and after you clock in you can go ahead and go to wardrobe costumes after costumes you wait until it's your turn for makeup now depending on what you got cast as will determine your makeup aftermath does tend to get the least amount of makeup which is why I ended up getting these contacts also because they're Tokyo Ghoul contacts, they're not completely black, but that was okay. Yeah, they are pretty lenient with what you can do and stuff like that. I would come in with my own makeup and they were totally okay with me wearing contacts and stuff like that. But yeah, so usually if you're a walk around, they tend to give you prosthetics and stuff, so they do pay you more for that. That's one of the reasons why I want to be a walk around. Okay. So a few good things about working at Six Flags is you get free entry to any Six Flags around the world and you're allowed to bring one person. That's literally the only reason why I decided to actually ride a roller coaster. I do not like roller coasters but I figured you know it's free and my friends really wanted me to so I did that. Each maze does get an award depending on the performance. I think my maze got best maze of the night like twice i think i don't remember so it's pretty much determined by supervisors who walk by and they walk through the maze it's this giant trophy with like a head and it's all gory and stuff like that yeah and they did give us like candy in my maze not because we won best maze or anything just it was just something that they always did i definitely would do fright fest again but only as a walk around and i definitely 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 want to do horror nights at universal studios I was supposed to audition for Horror Nights this year, but because of the coronavirus, you know, all theme parks are closed, which sucks, so there's like a lot of opportunities that I missed, and yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about auditioning for Fright Fest and anything like that. I can't think of anything else, but pretty much, yeah, that was the whole video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, <laughs> like my video, subscribe, I hope you guys stay safe, and yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. Bye! So, yeah, <laughs> bye.